Given that one employ the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift, and the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xinyan! This golden crab's particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Huh. <laughs> One has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shenhe. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. What? This shall not do. Lantern Rite fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius' his opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And later... <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm... Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. <sighs> no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep! Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. 